I summoned Incensa during one of my last summon sessions during the progressive chance. And I, you know, I saw her kit, AoE, decrease attack. And uh, this move right here, ally with the highest crit damage, will join in the attack and attack that who has the lowest HP using their default skill. And I thought to myself, that's pretty cool because whoever is going to be like my big damage dealer is going to be able to, you know, get more damage in basically. This move here places a poison cloud, which was also pretty interesting because I don't know of any other champions that's not a mythical who places poison cloud buffs on your team. For those of you who don't know, a poison cloud buff usually used by the head that, well, the head that places poisons and the head that places the poison cloud in Hydra makes it so that no matter what, you're going to be weak hitting. Kind of like in Feeble, I think. It probably functions the same. Uh, and then she also places increased speed and a continuous heal on that one target and then fills that champion's turn meter by 50%. Three turn cooldown. Her A3, AOE, decreased defense and weaken. That's pretty good, pretty handy because there's not too many champions that do AOE, decreased defense and weaken. And this also ignores block debuffs. So if the head of Mischief steals one of my block debuffs and then spreads it, this will still place through that, which is pretty nice. Three turn cooldown. Passive increases the champion's accuracy by 10 for each buff on each enemy. Whenever this or whenever an enemy receives a buff, their turn meter is turn meter is decreased by 10%. I haven't been paying attention. I don't think you can decrease the turn meter of the Hydra heads though. Ally by 70%. Or sorry, ally accuracy increased by 70 points of accuracy. So um, this is the team. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw her in. I haven't really thought this team out, if I'm being completely honest. Um, kind of just took what I already had here and took out Venus and and Cupidus, replaced them with Taurus, Rhodos, two damage dealers, ally attack, plus somebody else who joins in with attacks. Um, Tawana Rock to deal with the, um, what do you call it, block buffs, and then Razzlevark to just pump out more damage, and then Incensa. Now, I am kind of missing an Inquisitor Sham, but my hope here is that I'm going to be doing enough damage to the point where I just don't care about doing any of that. And the same thing with Hex, because my Hex champion was Venus, so we'll see. Before that, I wanted to show you guys this build that I have for Incensa. I have her in Relentless and one... Uh, set of protection somewhere here in the accuracy. She's not fully uh, specced out. She is fully booked. No masteries yet. I haven't decided if she is worthy of a bunch of uh, masteries. That and I don't have uh, gems for her right now, and I don't feel like doing Minotaur. So she's highly she's highly rated, or decently rated, I should say. Highly rated in Hydra, and then decently rated all all around. Now, let's go ahead and take her in. I put her in Relentless. The point is, I want her to take as many turns as possible. And, um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and just throw them in to Hydra. Let's see. Okay, so we're starting off with Cardiel. And it looks like Brimstone popped off. I'm trying to pay attention to Incensa here. Okay, so she hit the decreased defense and the weaken. Looks like we're hitting this head here with Rhodos. I want to actually pay attention to her. Um, let me see here. Let's do... Let's do Incensa's A1 and see how that works. So she did the AoE decrease defense and weaken. Went through the block. Well, there was no block buffs up. But let's go ahead and aim down on this head here. So that's her A1. Both of them were able to join in the attack. And it looks like Rhodos might have more crit damage than Taurus, and that's probably why. Oh, actually, you know what? I have them built differently. So Taurus actually has 2% more crit damage than Rhodos, but because Rhodos currently has the increased damage, crit damage buff, that's why he joined in with the attack and um, hit this um, Hydra head here. I'm gonna skip off the block um, debuff move here because that and of course, that's her version of the Poison Cloud. So now we're just gonna A1 our way through. A lot of uh, joining in an attack here. 
What I needed to do was get a provoke up on this head somehow, some way. So, you know, with a little more thought, I could have made a better team, but we're kind of just testing things out here. This isn't, don't take this as an end all be all team here. Just waiting for the poison cloud to pass through. It's kind of the, the downside to having to wait for this part to be over. And uh, let's just skip all this. Well, not skip, but like let's just run through this. Okay, so we have our poisons. We're gonna want to make sure. Actually, no, with Tuanrok here, we probably don't even have to really worry too much about it. We don't have a a revive champion, so that could be an issue there. So this time, Tar because he doesn't have the buff. Taurus came through with the ally attack. This is the head I want to focus on. All right, so we get reflected. I hate the reflect. And I think we're sick. Can we spread this to these heads? Okay, so it does spread. The block buffs didn't spread either. Okay, so we got the brimstone on you. Luckily, we got five star for Razzlevarg. I really want another summoning event, like another deck of fate, five star blessing event for a champion that's really good. Can we reliably hit this over here? And Razzlevarg puts in some work, but on the wrong heads here. All right, so now it looks like we're safe enough to place the A3 with the AoE decrease defense. Ignores block debuffs. So right now, Head of Mischief has block debuffs. And as you see, he went right through it. Let's do this, get the leech on, get the boost in, hit that, hit that. Boom, okay. So now we're going to place the Poison Cloud on us, and let's see. Okay, so we got the Continuous Heal, we got the Poison Cloud. It's not protected. Now that could be an issue. So maybe a Protect set might do Incensa a lot better. Kind of like Makage, if you put her in a 9-piece, she does more damage, and she also protects your buffs. So we'll see. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to hit this head out. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about that. Hitting the A1. Taurus goes for this head here. Let's hit the decrease defense and weaken AoE. That's pretty handy. Going in. All right. And let's boost over here. And keep in mind, guys, I am not a clan boss expert, so don't expect too much. I'm kind of just learning things as I go. Let's hit the A1. Bringing it in with Rodos, hit the A1 again. Bringing in with Rodos again, hitting for 353. All right, now from here on, I'm gonna run it on auto. I'm just gonna kind of let the entire thing run and you know, whatever happens, happens. And then I'll report back to you guys as usual with the end results. Um, I'll try to pay attention a little bit here and there and give you my, my final thoughts. I don't think this is gonna hit the turn limit. My other team does hit the turn, turn limit, uh, limit, sorry. Uh, but we'll see okay and here we have the final results as you can see uh 84 million on hard not my best score i'm honestly not even too impressed considering that my my other team has hit the turn limit before reaching upwards of 500 million on a regular basis full auto and um, that just goes to show that you know either something's off or the synergy's off or you know something is what it is but what incensa did do was enable Taurus to bang out more damage um, than everybody else because he has the highest crit damage. Her A1 enabled him to hit a little bit more. So Taurus in first place, Razavark in second in terms of damage. He is in Relentless and then Rodos um, following in at third. I think what the issue here is, is mostly the synergy. I think what ended up happening here is I ended up just dying and getting killed. Fear pops off. That negates a lot of damage and I end up not doing a lot. And, you know, so on and so forth. The reflect damage also smacks really hard as well as the head of wrath just, you know, hitting me hard as shit as well. I'd be interested to see if any of you guys are actually using Incensa, what team compositions. I'd be more than willing to try her out, but am I impressed with her? I, I, I don't know. I can't really say that I am. I was excited when I got her because she's, you know, brand spanking new, you know, the new toy, but she hasn't really done anything for me.